She clocked in, celebrity guest, never guess who gon' drop in. Television's best, like a S on the chest. Who's next? Say less, cause you rockin' with you rockin' with the best. JoJo, play it again. I ain't ready. Play it again. I like my song. Roll it one more again. That's my jump. Slim, we're going to play my theme song one more time because I, I feel like I need to make a TikTok. JoJo, I'm dead ass. Keep it posted. Gotta keep it posted. Gotta. Yeah. Gotta keep it posted. We got more clock. Post it with the poster. Stay so long and ready. Just name a topic. Post it up like a palm tree in the tropic. Rizzy on the beat, make you wanna come and see. Mo to the C, radio to TV. You know she putting in work like she clocked in. Celebrity guest, never guess who gon' drop in. Television's best, like a S on the chest. Who's next? Say less, cause you rocking with you rocking with the best. Mo car, posting with the poster. I'm ready now, you know. Sometimes I have to hear my theme song to get my energy together. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? And my homeboy, Rozzy, shout out to Rozzy and Kel Zane for dropping that song. You know, I don't know why Rozzy always got to shout his name out and shit. <laughs> I just don't. But it's cool. I like it. I love the song. It gave me hype. My mind wasn't right, you know, when he first played it because I was doing other stuff, but I had to hear, I had to run that back one more again. Hey, guys, what's up? It's your girl, Mo Clark, with the post up, and we in the building. We are joined by the homie, Slim Cutter. What's up? Slim Cut, Layboy, Layboy NT. using the what's whole name, You sir? already know, the, Slim the Cut, The whole name. The whole name. On T-shirts, on flyers. It's the whole Slim Cut Lay Boy. Slim Cut. The, the whole okay, Lay Boy. Slim Cut Lay Boy. If you ain't fuck with me then, don't fuck with me now. I mean, you know the slogan. Period. Period. You know the slogan. Same, same, same. Same old. Same old. Same. Ain't gonna change up. Same. <laughs> Cause you know, once you get the confirmation that you're gonna be at the BET Awards, nigga, you made it. Hey. You made it. Oh, listen. Uh, next year, 
I'm going to be hosting on the red carpet. BET don't know it yet, but hey, that's yes. what it is. Goals, yes. baby. Goals. That's what we doing. Nothing we aiming goals. to please. We aiming to please. Nothing but goals. All right, so we got a lot going on. JoJo probably is pissed off because I didn't label nothing. But you know what? When you work full time and you got two kids and two dogs and you got a lot going on in your life, you ain't got time to do nothing. But JoJo, I did change the color of the folder this week. So I'm on half of my job and I was two minutes early. What? I would drop Mike if I wasn't still, you know, doing an interview. Jojo, let's do moments with Mo. Well, shit, Jojo, I know. The hell? Don't scare me like that. Who who first? Jojo yelling like he the police? We back. Damn, okay. They ain't scared me. My wig almost slid back. All right, so Nick, Nick Cannon and Kevin Hart, I don't know what the hell they got going on, but they have been pranking each other all summer long. I mean, we talking about everything from sending each other animals. He sent Kevin Hart a llama for his birthday. Now oh, he numbers. done wrapped Kevin's heart, Learjet Plane, with a sticker of himself advertising his new show. <sighs> They're rich people pranks. Yeah, I saw that. I think the extent of my that. prank would be maybe like throwing baby powder on somebody <laughs> or like maybe some water, but I don't know about. Yeah. I might be dazzled or something. That seemed like that's in my Pulled his own private jet into private his jet. private hanger. Private Ooh. Lear jet. Lear. Lear. I didn't even know how to spell Lear until I saw that post. I can't wait to get to that point. I'm trying to tell you. Like, bruh. Mm. Okay, Nick. Do you think it was a funny prank? Oh, uh, to be honest? Yeah. No. Do you think I mean, but I guess like it's a rich folks prank, so uh, Okay, so let me ask you, do you think it was legit a prank or do you think Kevin Hart knew and he was cool with Nick I doing think like that? The ad? I think he knew. Yeah, because they were saying Nick Cannon personally wrapped the plane. Listen, I struggled to make this T-shirt tonight. <laughs> so I just don't know how Nick Cannon by himself wrapped an entire Learjet plane. Because you that's a – how many pieces was the sticker? And did you, like – you know, when you paint, you have to put, like, the water and stuff exactly. over it. So did you put the – I just got That's questions. Time. I just I, I just don't – I don't know. That's Nick, time. I'm not saying, Nick, you know I love you. Like, I don't know where your whole wild audition out, is man. to be wild your baby out. mama. Do what you but, do. you know, yeah, wild out. Yeah. Wild out. Nick, wild I, don't, I don't know, but you could have called me if you needed help. I would have helped you, Nick. I would have helped you. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just – it's out there, okay? <laughs> Who's next? Okay, so – you know, we have this um, this thing that's going on in the media. We talked about it a little bit last week where we had the Gabby Petito. She had been missing, and by the third, fourth day of her missing, they had the FBI. They had everybody involved. Meanwhile, Jelani Day had been missing for over a month, and his story wasn't getting nearly as much traction. So someone reached out to me about Miss Bonita. Miss Bonita has been missing, I believe, for a year. JoJo, put it back up. Um, yeah, she's been missing. She was last seen in 2020, August the 5th, 2020. Her family did contact me. Um, so the story is she was on the highway. She caught a flat tire and they haven't seen her since. So when they found her car, when they eventually did find her car on the highway, I believe there was like a half eaten burrito in the car, which is why it had like a stench and all of that. But nobody has seen or heard from her in over a year. And the family has been constantly reaching out to the police officers, and they have no information. Now, I hadn't heard about the story until the family reached out to me. So I I am starting to believe that there really is something to this of, of brown and, and women of color yeah. or people of color. got to be I mean, safe out seen, there, period. We've seen it with yeah. Jelani, people of color. Um, we're not seeing – it in the headlines. I've even been watching a, a story on, M not a story, a series on MTV called My True, My. I think it's called My True Life Crime or something like that. Um, it, it's hosted by a, a black man, uh, Dominic Papineau, I believe. And most of his stories involve African American people that have gone missing or have been murdered or, you know, there was a... Um, 
Native American woman. Mm. I think that's the appropriate term. Native American woman. She was missing. Um, they found her. She was in the bushes. Like, I'm just, what is it? Like, we would like to think after centuries of slavery being over that it's really over. But even though it's supposedly over, it's something with the mentality. They're not They're not looking for us. So, Gotta I think it's careful, up ladies. to us. You know, I, we can't, I can't even say, you know, um, we have black networks because BET is owned by, you know, the same people that own MTV and VH1. Right. So we're not even getting a place for those stories. So hopefully in the near future, we will have something that is truly, truly 100% dedicated to us and finding us. Like all just... Just help, help. If you guys know anything about Benita, put the flyer up for me again, JoJo. If you guys have Stay seen prepared. or heard or whatever, you know, of course we hate to think the worst, but, you know, this was right around the time that sex trafficking, well, sex trafficking is going on. Yeah, and remember when we had the white hands and all of that? So definitely, um, you know, if you guys have, have seen, heard anything, uh, reach out to the McKinney Police Department at 972-547-2700. Who's next, JoJo? All right, 85, show. 85 South is to host the BET Awards, which is going to be filming tomorrow. Of course, you know we got Carlos Miller, um, DC Young Fly. Who's the other guy? I don't know. I don't know the third guy. Chico Bean. Chico Bean. Okay, yeah. So they're part of 85 South. They've been hosting the BET Hip Hop Awards, and they're letting these guys do it again. So shout out to them. They must be doing an amazing job. Congratulations to them. Can't Good wait congrats. to see the show. Can't wait to be a part of the show. So yeah, that's going down tomorrow who's next all right miguel and zani mandy or mandy they break up after 17 years here's the thing that's really odd about the story uh i'm just trying to figure out how you can stay with somebody for because they just got married i believe in 2018 i believe so they haven't been married that long Ooh. now i can i i get this part you know sometimes you could date a person for a long time and never have any issues yeah. and then you get married and it's like the damn roof fall out because that's where the comfortability come in at you know what i think it is i think it's when you're dating someone sometimes you don't have as much invested you know what i'm saying like you might not have that house or that car you might you might not you know you don't have that piece of paper it's easy to get into easy to get out of but then when you exactly. get married that puts a lot of pressure exactly. on you. You might think you're ready to be married, but mm, you might not be. You might not be. Take your time, folks. Take your time. I mean, they did. Shit, it was 17 years, Slim. But it still didn't go nowhere. It, so you saying at least 16 years wasn't enough? <laughs> hey, whatever floats their boat. This goes to prove my point. It doesn't matter how long you've known somebody, how long you've been together. If it don't work, it just don't work. You so ain't people got no need chemistry, to stop. nothing. People need to stop the bullshit. Tell them, oh, you need to date somebody for 15 years. You need to date somebody for five to six years so you can see their true side. I mean, people, it was at least 10. No. They dated for at least 13, 14, 15 years. They before. already seen all of the bad habits and all of that. So Allegedly. But I am if firm, they was around each other. I'm a firm believer that people will truly show you what they want you to see when they get ready for you to see it. True. I don't care how many years it take. If a if a dude wanna flex for five years until you agree to marry him and then you marry him, it'd be like yeah. <laughs> Shit. What was this other side of you? Right. He was hiding. <laughs> Who's next? Hey fellas, I got y'all, man. I ain't gonna let you I ain't gonna let Mo Clark do us like this. Whatever. <laughs> Jada Waiter. All right. Jada Waiter got arrested for her birthday. That's a good birthday gift. And and that's the story on that. No, I'm just playing. Okay, so Jada Waiter, um, she was in J Jamaica, I believe, and she got caught with a gun. Her and somebody in her entourage, they got caught with two nine millimeter guns. And she was detained. And they're saying that the reason why she was able to actually get over into the other country with the weapon is because, again, there it goes. They took private jet. They took a private jet and they jetted on over there. And the guns were registered in the United States of Somebody America. Somebody told on them. You think so? Somebody told on them. Ain't nobody tell on them. They snitch. 
They didn't snitch. They snitched. You know who snitched? Who? She did. You want me to tell you how? How? She was on social media with the gun. She was walking through Jamaica, the Jamaican streets, toting the gun in her hand. The gun was not concealed. The gun was unholstered. And they were posting about it. And the Jamaican people see you. Now, I know, I know, as much as we would like to think everybody know us sometimes, everybody don't know you. No. Everybody in these other countries, they don't know you. I ain't saying some people over there didn't know her. But I'm just saying, you walking through the street with the gun, you, you know, you, you literally taking that, I keep that thing beside me, literally. Like, and you showing people. Now. It's not a good thing. She got out on like a 5000 and something dollar bill, which is nothing to her. She probably, I mean, she spent $10,000 on a little Chanel coin purse. Oh, she didn't she know it was the same going. night then. Yeah, she, yeah, of course. You know, yeah. They, yeah, of course. Uh, Happy birthday, Jada. Yeah, happy birthday. She didn't even make it upstairs. Who, who's next? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right, so well, I got my special guest in the building. I got. Slim, say your whole name, because I ain't finna do it. Slim Cut, Late Boy. Late Boy Entertainment. What up? What's up? How you been? I've been great. How many years has it been, Slim? Because I'm pretty uh, sure when I when I met you, I was I like a foursome. When I foursome? Yeah, I think it was, it's been about four years. Man, you've gotten tall. It's been about four years. I think you've gotten tall. And I can't I think get I, no taller. I, have, I, have I can't get no taller. I was about to say that you might have got shorter. I have definitely but I can't shrunk. get no taller. I have shrunk. It's okay. You know, I'm 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 heading up to those golden girl years, and uh, I mean, but I see that you got your high heels on, so that's because I'm sitting down. Uh, these these feet and these knees. They she's just a little ain't, bit taller now. Guys. They just ain't. They she's just ain't what they now. used to be. They, they ain't what they used to have been. <laughs> she's a little bit taller. So slim, now. even throughout the four years, you've still been growing. You've still been doing music. So how long have you actually been doing music? Wait, let me ask this the right way because I have to ask people. They always give me two answers. So let me just ask two questions. Number one, how long have you been doing music? And number two, how long have you been taking doing music seriously? So I've been doing music since the age of 10. Okay. Okay. I started taking music serious. Um, I'm going to really say by 25. I was going to say, Slim, if you say 11, I'm going to punch No, because I was about to say 17. Okay. But... Those were the school days, you know, and the cliques and the crews and stuff like that. So it got big, but then it kind of fell off. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, like a few things popped off, shit, like at the age of 21. Mm -hmm. That really made me just say, to hell with music. I get you. And, like, you know, I faded to black right. for, like, four years. Mm hmm I was still writing music, right? But I wasn't doing music, right? So we was pretty much doing music and stuff like off our cell phones, okay? Recording it, mm -hmm. all right, cool. My cousin, he's locked up. Mm -hmm. He started doing the same thing from inside. From inside, gotcha. Okay, but his grind was more. So I'm sitting back, well, like he had more time on his hands. But, Literally. But I'm at the house like, man, he's doing all of this. And I'm out here literally like in the free world. Whenever I wake up, Amazing. I can do what I want to do. Yeah. So that's when I really start kind of taking it serious. So a lot of artists now, they're not necessarily trying to be signed and they're not trying to go mainstream anymore. Not at all. So not you actually all. have your own label. Are you comfortable with that? You know, putting um, out music on your own label? Yes, because, like, once again, I'm just like you just said. Like, I don't want to be signed to nobody. I don't care about the fame, nothing like that. The only thing that I care about is the passion of my music okay. and my music that I put out. You signed to a label. You putting out the music they want you to put out. Absolutely. You know that's how like a lot of people change as far as their image. I agree. You know. So with that being said, I'd rather just stay in my own lane and continue doing what I'm doing, even though it might be a slow prosperity, but it's a prosperity. 
you know it's crazy i i do i think that i do think that because you know a lot of times you know when when i feel i'm not an artist you know what i'm saying but you know with what i do i've been in situations where people have said oh you know we want you to bring your show to our platform and you have to produce this many episodes and you won't see the money until well, so still trying you, to find a way see what to, I'm saying? Yeah. You won't see the profit until you give us your first 15 episodes for free. And then you want me to give me my first 15 episodes for free. And then after that, you only want to give me a 20, 30 split or exactly. whatever the case may be. And I'm sitting there like, damn, that them may, percentages right. don't add up. Don't like add up how you getting the bigger, the bigger piece, but I'm still paying for everything. I'm exactly. still filming i'm still putting the content out i'm still buying the wigs and the hair and the makeup and the this and the that i don't care about that how you know what i'm saying and i think that goes to a lot of people actually wanting the fame you know and not reading i think i i can see an artist being so excited that a major label they're not going to read the contract that they're right. not going to read gonna the contract read the contract at all that's the number one thing i always have I think some that's type what of law be banking on right I always have some type of lawyer because that's how these folks get like in these four year deals mm -hmm. for like say 200,000. Mm -hmm. They'll take that plus the signing bonus mm -hmm. and think they're going to just take off. But right. No, you're going to get that money, then you're going to do their work, and whatever you bring in is what you bring in. Right. They're going to promote you. But if you don't make no money and no sales, guess what? Now you owe them. And see, that with the image changing. So there's a, a lady. I don't know if you guys saw this story. Um, it was being reported by, like, all the gossip sites. Uh, Young Baby Tate. I believe she's an artist. And she's, I think she, I want to say she's unsigned. So she's going back and forth with another lady. That doesn't do what she does. The lady's not an artist, but young baby Tate, um, she don't have like a toe up shape or anything like that. But she's saying that she has a natural body, that everything is natural. She hasn't had any surgery or anything. So wait a minute, though. She's got the picture where she's standing on stage. She got a fupa out. She got all of this going on. And she like, I don't give two Fs. You know, this is who I am. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. In my mind, I'm thinking, I feel her. You know what I'm saying? Because the fans is like, ooh, yeah, she a real one. She a real one. She don't care. She don't duh, 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 duh. But I'm sitting here Social thinking, media. as soon as she gets signed, because that whole image, that, that they, they take you. Like, they take you and they mold you. Exactly. I, I remember hearing stories about Nicki Minaj, about how she used to be really, really skinny and little before she came out. She was super, super pretty. She didn't have all all of that that she has now and no. at some point in time it was like okay because a lot of times people be thinking oh they wanted to do this or they did this or they did that uh people have contracts telling them when they can and can't have kids exactly they you know they be on birth control they might say oh you gotta give us two albums for you decide to start a family you gotta You're give us five albums before you you know what i'm saying so you don't even own your life anymore it's like somebody else's you're on their time. You are on their time. So I can, and then I definitely think Independent artists, what's up? I definitely I'm think financially, you good. I definitely think financially you stand to make more as an independent artist. What do you think? I mean, even though you still have to pay. That's if you know it business-wise. Okay. Because like a lot of people get out here and they don't know the business side. Uh -huh. See? I didn't know the business side for like a while. Right. Because wasn't nobody trying to um help or give game. Hmm. They were trying to sell it, but mm -hmm. the price they were trying to sell it at, it really wasn't worth it because I mm -hmm. knew that I really didn't like need them like for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. But I know that sometimes you have to use this stepping stone to get to like another level. Absolutely. But it took me a while to figure that out though. I'm still trying to figure things out. Like, every day is a growing. I mean, so. Do you have a, because this is something that I've struggled with. I, I understand it because even with the show and my online boutique, you know, um, especially when it comes to the online boutique, 
a lot of influencers that are popular and that have numbers, you'd be like, oh, my God, if I could just give my stuff to this girl, she's going to put it on and this, this, and this, and this. But then you reach out to the person, and you're a small business owner. Right. Like, take my boutique, for example. Small business owner, just starting out. Ain't making a thousand dollars in sales. They ain't making a million dollars in sales. And I want to send it to a popular influencer. They hit me with, oh, my rate five thousand dollars for a twenty four hour post. The hell? <laughs> Social media. And then you be sitting there thinking, I'm sorry, ma'am. In my email, did you did you did you not read small business owner? Like, exactly. did you not see that? Like, you gotta pay for your website hosting. You gotta pay for your marketing, your promo, your this, your that, and da da da. But then they'll go out and get Louis Vuitton, whether it's fake or real, and have everybody think that they're balling. Right. That's the image. So do you think the game really should be sold and not told? Because I know a lot of people that have wanted to start their own eyelash line or their own shoe store or this, that, and third and other, and they just don't know where to start. And somebody like me, I can tell them where to start. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or I could be like, for a small fee of $99.99, I can sell you this or I can come at you and say this. And then the thing that gets me is – People have put packages together to help people start business, even even in your industry. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you need to get an LLC. You need to do this. You need to do that. I do all of it for you for four fifty. Right. But to go online you can and go spend that EIN, same it's price. Free. Right. You can go sign for the same price. Right. Less. You can do it for less. Yeah. So I guess you're really paying for their time. So if you're in a situation where, that, you know, like I said, I'm on the fence because if you're in a situation where you want everything done. And you want it done right, I can see you paying somebody for it. Right, right. But how do you learn? If you just go out and pay somebody to do it and not do the research yourself, how do you learn? Exactly. That's how people end up in these jacked up situations where they be rich and they paying an accountant to pay all their bills and handle all their finances and then the accountant is, is sending money to an overseas account. And they don't even know. And they don't about even it. know it. All of a sudden you in this this million dollar mansion in the dark. Because they didn't pay Georgia Power with your light bill. Exactly. You ain't got no money. Now you trying to find Willard. Willard done dipped out on your ass. Which Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Willard got your money. You in the dark. You trying to explain to Georgia Power. My accountant take care of that. They be like, uh. I got you next week, my boy. I got you next week. Mr. Jones, we ain't got no light bill payment from you since cash money took over for the 9-9. Nine nine. In the 2000. Hell? You know what I'm saying? But do you think it's negligence of people not asking the right questions after they hit a certain point? Yeah. Because, like, you always want to ask questions. Like you. Do you think wanna... Beyonce still asks questions? Now she's on another level. Now she pretty much. I mean, I don't know. She might be. You never know. I mean, I just can't. I'm not see. gonna say that she's not. I just can't see. But I'm not gonna Beyonce say that she's like she's listening. The power company. <laughs> oh no, she ain't having none of those problems. Oh no, she's not having none of those problems at all. I she can't good. see. Could you imagine if she did? I just don't know how I feel behind. I seen for you real quick. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? So I don't know. So what? So what do you feel like you're 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 missing, or that you want to learn a little bit further? Um, I'm gonna say like the marketing. Okay. Marketing. I mean, because like I pretty much know everything else. Well, you know, for it's a small fee, I do PR. Uh oh. <laughs> for a small fee. Yes. We might get some work. Small fee. Yeah. But once again, both of us are small business owners, so <laughs> I didn't say <laughs> I didn't say see what I'm saying. You see how he tried to pull that on me? I didn't sit here and say I'm like, being no, black now. No, no, I black. I don't charge a million and ten dollars. You know, I have my my clients are rising and cheating ass mark. Now here's the thing. You know Myron? You know cheating ass Myron, the little dude that do skits always running in oh, the yeah, draws. Yeah. Me and Myron have a conversation at least once or twice a month. And I'm like, Myron, how do you do stuff and I don't be knowing you doing? How can I effectively PR you when I find out, when the public find out? Right. We can't work like that. And Myron, is, he says he's going to get better. He said this after dropping a brand new podcast. 
We go. We we have a very we have a love hate relationship. I swear we do. Me and Myron, Rozzy. I pretty much I I kind of sort of be knowing what Rozzy do sometimes. <laughs> if Rozzy don't say, "Hey Mo, this is what I'm doing," I definitely know what Rozzy is doing for the most part. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And when he do shows, he always let me know. He always send an invite. So do you do you perform? Do you still like go to shows and all of that? Uh, I really don't get out too much. You know, like if I get out, it gotta really make some type of sense. No disrespect and no type of. So how of you marketing if you're not getting out? What? Trust me, I got ways. I'm just saying, like, what you doing? You doing at home concerts? Oh, oh no, now I still do shows. That's what I'm saying. Like, but you know, just like not back to back to back. I got you. You know how? So I used how to do. do you how do you balance that with with family and kids and? <sighs> it's tough. I mean, but guess I what? Though. This is what I asked for. So absolutely, like I cannot complain at all. So I, I honestly no think when you're a real parent, when you're a real parent, we'll sit there and be like, it's tough. Versus parents that that's in the, you know what I'm saying? See, like I'm here now and again. Nah, I'm starting to think that I keep mine with me. I think babies are accessories for rich people now. Yeah, that's all. Because everybody popping up gimmick. pregnant. All of it is a gimmick. And then you sitting there thinking. But boo, you on like twelve shows and this and certain like how do you spend time with your kids? Because it's more than just buying them things. You go on for months. Yeah, you, you for are. Months. You like are like as far as on that type of plateau. So like, and and I take my kids with me everywhere too. Like the whole purpose of doing not necessarily this part, this aspect of it was what I always wanted to do. Right. But I like to take them to events that I can take them to. And I'm starting to think my kids might grow up stuck up in bougie because they be around like some celebrities and they don't even care. They don't be like, ah, you know, they're they, so humble. Right. So they be like, OK. And you know what I'm saying? Right. The only time one of my kids went dumb, stupid is I am Zoe. And when I said, oh, yeah, you know, I was at this party and the Taylor girls was there. The Taylor girls, the, the girls that seen bundles, the bundle girls, they was there. I was like, what the hell is the bundles? You know what I'm saying? Like, mommy didn't even know. But it's great. You have them here with you, and they are fully engaged in your interview. Oh, yeah. I keep my kids Look at them, me, man. You know, everywhere. <laughs> Real parent, just like she just said. Sorry, boy. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's you up? Keep doing what you do. Love my kids, keep man. Zaria, Jamar, and Lenar. Lenar? Is that yes. a girl or a boy? That's my baby boy. That's your baby boy. How do you yep. come up with that name? Actually, my wife did. How? Lenar? Because it's her dad's middle name. Okay. Does it mean anything? I mean, as far as for her and like. Their family, yeah. I mean, yeah. so it don't have like no black king, black, like. Oh no, no. See, I haven't did all that. You know, I haven't done the research and went inside of the book and researched nothing like that. Well, that would be a fun fact. I mean, I I, I just call them LJ. Well, listen, you could be like me. They have got to stop telling people to name their kids right after they have an epidural. Right. I done jacked up both of my kids' names, but that's that's neither here nor there. I, mommy loves you. Don't you, do that to the kids. Listen, Don't do it, that it to the kids. It was on them. It was on them. So what can mommy we gave expect it to for you? Like, what kind of projects do you have coming up? Um. Well, right now, Weather the Storm, which is an album out right now. Okay. Um, 13 tracks on it. Spotify. All of the platforms. Okay. Go check it out. Um. I also have the single out right yes. now. Is that the one you brought me? Yes. Okay. That's the one I brought you. What'd you bring me? I brought you a little mo mo mo. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I brought you a little mo well, mo. Well, we mo. could always use some mo mo. <laughs> some mo mo. So that's the new single though. Mo mo mo. Hey, you know what? Why don't you introduce it? Oh, Jojo, okay. you ready? You got hey, that man. thing back there? So what we're going to do right now is hop into this brand new video, the new single by Slim Cut Lay Boy featuring Fire and Dreddy, Mo Mo Mo. You know we got to get into it. You want some mo, 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 she wants some mo, 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 he wants some mo, 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 they want some mo, 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 she wants some mo, 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 he wants some mo, 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 they want some mo, 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 they want some mo, 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 they want some mo,
want some more, 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 more money, more problems, more issues to solve. You just gotta go, go, go. You wanna go get it? Fuck all the pretending. Put your feet on the flow, flow, flow. You want some more, more, more. She wants some more, more, more. He wants some more, more, more. They want some more, more, more. More money, more problems, more issues to solve. You just gotta go, go, go. You wanna go get it? Fuck all the pretending. Put your feet on the flow, flow, flow. I want this money, I want this bag. It ain't nothing for me to get off my ass. Spaz on a nigga, get back on the road. You can't tell me that I ain't give you all I have. But all I want is peace and serenity. Solitude, where they can I envy me? Shit be crazy. But at the same time, I can't get niggas energy. No, I'm prolific the way that I spit on the beat. They tripping, acting like they ain't seeing me. Holding nuts like it ain't nowhere to pee. It's obvious they ain't fucking with me. I'm too humble at times. But that's been a go, go, go. A lot of shit stay on my mind. So the label just smoke, smoke, smoke. Battling demons while keeping my faith. A hundred mile running straight out the gate. Only friends telling me that they love. But I can see the record leads through the hate. I came through the dope, all about money. And I need some more, more, more. Tell them niggas stop popping, you got it, you got it. That shit on the low, low, low. You want some more, more, more. She wants some more, more, more. He wants some more, more, more. They want some more, more, more. More money, more problems, more issues to solve. You just gotta go, go, go. You wanna go get it? Fuck all the pretending. Put your feet on the flow, flow, flow. You want some more, more, more. She wants some more, more, more. He wants some more, more, more. They want some more, more, more. More money, more problems, more issues to solve. You just gotta go, go, go. You wanna go get it? Fuck all the pretending. Put your feet on the flow, flow, flow. Money, little bit of money, yeah. lot more money, yeah. whole lot of money. money yeah. Make a bitch grab my dick and swallow money. Uh -huh. Walk in the club, need with a model money. Uh -huh. Looking at some land, yeah, real estate money. Uh -huh. Top one percent, yeah, you can't relate money. Yeah. Four or five hoes, yeah, lemonade yeah. money. Yeah. Back in that nigga with that patty cake money. Yeah. Call me five pocket with this cap cake money. Race sports cars, ride out of that money. Uh -huh. Sitting in the chair, thousand dollar fade money. Say she gay, turn the bitch straight money. Get more on my mind like a tumor. tumor. Pass more around like a rumor. Tumor. Can't get to it no sooner. Tumor. Chasing out the mold like a boomer. Chevy in future, uh, pay so wet like Cuda. Uh, it's gonna cost bone on future. Yeah. Showing off money, I loot you. Oh, uh, toxic, yeah. yeah. Judah. Hey. I just want more, more, more. You want some more, more, more. She wants some more, more, more. He wants some more, more, more. They want some more, more, more. More money, more problems, more issues to solve. You just gotta go, go, go. You wanna go get it? Fuck all the pretending. Put your feet on the flow, flow, flow. You want some more, more, more. She wants some more, more, more. He wants some more, more, more. They want some more, more, more. More money, more problems, more issues to solve. You just gotta go, go, go. You wanna go get it? Fuck all the pretending. Put your feet on the flow. Flow, flow, flow. Mo, 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 man. Yeah. Mo, mo, I'm mo. Lie. I'm not gonna lie. That might be my favorite new song. Yeah, he wants some mo, mo, mo. She wants some mo, mo, mo. They want some mo, mo, mo. More money, more problem, more issues to solve. You now, just gotta go, go, now, go. Don't get mad when you see me do a Snapchat to that song. Do your thing. Do your thing. Don't, don't even get mad. That's promotion. Do I it. Always be looking for like new YouTube intros and stuff. That's the wake thing. up in the morning. I like Let's that. Go. That's my. That's the wake up in the morning. Yeah. Let's go. I like that. I mean, obviously for different you reasons. You want it, get up out that bed and go get it. Stop saying you can't do something, man. Get up and go do it. Like, stop. Stop making excuses. Okay, now when did you put this song out? Um, I put that song out last month. Yeah, last month. And what you doing to push it, Slim? A little mo, mo, mo. Just know it's finna go. <laughs> I got plans see i don't like being just too talkative i got you. so i'm gonna just say i got plans okay and trust Why me I can't tag it's going somewhere oh there you go because okay. everybody wants some more of something i had i was trying to tag you in the video okay so what's gonna be the follow-up to this wait a minute i gotta ask you this because this is something i want to know How long should a person technically push a single? Because I know somebody, he been pushing the same single for about five years now. The same one. Not no remix of it or nothing. That's the beauty of being an 
independent artists. Now, usually, you should push a single for like at least a year, okay. maybe two years. Sometimes it takes that long. So the five or six is really just the five six. Nah. Because like by know, like, this time, like if ain't nobody caught on yet. Okay. They're not gonna catch on. I'm, I'm just wondering. Cause. But like with this music, you have to really get the feel of the people. It's not the singles that you think. Cause trust me, I don't have plenty of singles that I don't. Oh, this the one, but right. it wasn't the one for the people. It got to be something that the people want. So when you, you're in the club, you know, you got the lick in your system, and right. like you just want to move. You don't want to hear merit of. I mean, I'm sorry. Metaphoric <laughs> shit. They want to hear something that move their feet and their body. Right. So sometimes you got to dumb it down a little. So bit. they don't want to be in deep thought. Right. I got. So you. that's why I say you have to adapt. You have to adapt. That's funny because when I when I buy clothing for my boutique and I sit there and I be thinking, ooh, they gonna like this. Really, it be me liking it. Right. So right. I have to think the opposite way because sometimes people can see something on a shelf or a rack or whatever and they don't like it. They have to see somebody else put it together first. Exactly. Exactly. Before they be like, Oh, I like what she did with that. Oh, that's different. That's unique or whatever the case may be. You have to get to a certain point. Like before they just Oh yeah, we'll take it. Now I'm getting fussed at about carrying plus but sizes and everything else. Grime mode. It's just all about grime mode. I, I listen. You ever get tired of grime mode? I don't like. I'm gonna do this until the day I die. Like you I'm not ever saying, get tired like, of grime mode? No, no. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. That's one regret okay, I don't. Well, congratulations have in my to you. I, I mean, I love it. I love it. We different. Cause I almost called out to my own show today. And I was Lord like, have mercy, she was gonna call out on me. I was gonna call out on me. And it was, oh, so I would have just been hosting the show. Oh, okay. You would have listen. The hosting the show with Mo. You, look around, so you know, there's no co-host. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's no co-host, and it's like you know, fight or flight. You gotta be here. Right. So some days when I'm I'm getting dressed and my wig ain't holding on or my eyelashes sliding off, it be like shit. What is that? Today. It you must be a sign not to go. Man, listen, no, listen. You gotta come. Then get when you your start driving and you in traffic, it's like that's Atlanta oh. traffic anyway. Though I mean, come on. It just, it just. I think it just be stuff that don't want you to be great. But then, like I said, when I came in here and I say run the theme song back, because you have to be in a space to deliver. Like, don't get me wrong, who I am on camera, that's who I am off of camera. Right. But I have my regular people days. I'm a regular person. Exactly. I like to go home, slide my wig off, take my shoes off. You know, kick back. If I have on a waist trainer, we gotta let that. <laughs> Let it breathe. You know, you like to just go, go out. You know what you got to do. Listen. Let it hang. Let it hang. Let it hang. There was something else I was going to tell you about somebody in the media. <laughs> R. Kelly. I oh, can't yeah. They done blackballed my guy, man. They blackballed black my guy. Mo. They blackballed my guy. You think so? They blackballed my guy. So I mean, I'm not saying he wasn't wrong. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that the parents could have. You knew your child was gone. You was taking the money. Mm, what I think, I ain't going to say too much. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't want these folks covered at me on nothing. I'm trying to say because black Twitter is too. Oh, eat tell your me. Ass oh, nothing. A lot. <laughs> All the thing I'm going to say is they probably wanted another lump sum of money and he wasn't having it. Or he didn't have it. And he got trapped in the closet. <laughs> This is, this is it is over thing. with. I don't think it's over with. I think he's gonna get. I definitely think he's gonna fight it. They're gonna again. do him like Bill. Um, I definitely think they're gonna put more charges on him because you see the girlfriend, the the last girlfriend. She said she going back. She recanting saying she lied during her interview with Gail King that R. Kelly made her say that stuff. They black Are you him. saying that because he locked up? Like I'm just oh they my black god. Him. But the thing is, that go back to this this black people and white people thing because Elvis Presley 
married Priscilla when she was a teenager. You can look at the picture of Elvis and Priscilla and tell that Priscilla was young. This has been going on since the beginning of time. All the girls in the Playboy Mansion were not 18. They lied about their age. Hugh lied about their age. It was a lot of undercover shit going on. All of the, the girls Mansion. during slavery was underage. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. You know, they find they picking. And, and that's that. But that's erased. That is erased. In fact, majority of the women were young teenage girls. Exactly. Hell, not even teenage because 12 is not... It's, it's like a preteen. And that, that goes back to whatever. So, I mean, is it that R. Kelly just get screwed because he filmed it? Or was it because he was pissing on people? Or I think they been had a good agenda on him. Like, as far as, like, what and when to do what. I don't know, but the people on Fla uh, Facebook, the people on <laughs> <laughs> the people on Facebook, they making posts. They like, I will not stop listening to R. Kelly music. Man, I, I still listen to R. Kelly, man. Listen, cause guess what? Yo, mama was listening to him. Yo, mama already knew he was a freak and all that other stuff. Stop playing, man. Y'all been knew this man was doing all this stuff, man. So stop acting like you don't Scenario. know. Scenario: You're at a wedding. Right. You're in somebody's wedding. The DJ plays <laughs> Step in the Name of Love. <laughs> are you getting up? Or are you going to stay seated? Man, I'm getting up. Do you think the DJ is going to get fired? <laughs> uh, he, probably. But I'm going to get my step on, though. Before he get fired, I'm going to gonna step say, in the name of love. You think somebody going to jump up and say, hey, hey, hold on. No, no. I mean, of course, it's going to always be somebody in the crowd. We don't want that shit. Uh-oh. There go Fred. I'm warning you. I ain't going to say nothing else other than I'm warning. Status Network, Global Vision TV. This is Mo. Yo, what's up, Mo Clark? How you doing, girl? Hey, Freddie Bear. Hey, have you heard from your sister Ashley lately? I have not heard from my sister Ashley. Fred, have you reached out to Ashley on Instagram? Uh uh. Okay, okay. I see. I was just wondering if you heard from Ashley. I I, I watched her Instagram today. She was Was she? Did you tell her, hey? Yeah, I told her. I always speak to her every time you get on there. Do she speak back? Yeah, she, she talks to me. Aww. I'm glad, Fred. Ashley should come on my show, huh? Yeah. I will let her know. I will let her know because she's got some things that she's working on, I think. Yeah. And she an artist, too. She an artist, too. She is an artist. Fred, do you know who our guest is tonight? Because it ain't Ashley. I know it's not Ashley. Uh, 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 man, I don't know who the guest is tonight. Well, why don't you tell him, hey, at least, Fred. Okay, I'll speak to him. Hey, what's up, man? Are you an artist? Can you see music? Yes, sir. How you doing, man? My name's Slim Cut. Yes, sir. My name is Slim Cut. Hey, um, do you stay in Atlanta? I love the people that stay in Atlanta. You stay in Atlanta? Yes, sir. Hey, that's what's up, man. Atlanta's our city, man. I love the city of Atlanta, man. That's the city. And we love you, too. Atlanta, man. That's what's up, man. We love you, too, man. Fred, why don't you go on Instagram and make sure you follow Slim? Oh, I always say the videos and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm following the features. Say the whole thing out. I'm going to the video. Aw. You so sweet, Fred. Slim C U T T two one oh seven on Instagram. So just rewatch the video and you'll be good. Well thank thank you, Fred. Appreciate the love. We finna wrap the show up now. All right. All right, bye Fred. Bye bye. Boy, I know if Fred ain't going to do nothing else, he going to call. And if he ain't going to do nothing else, he going to talk about Ashley. And if he ain't going to do nothing else, he going to throw some random shit at me. You know, I can appreciate Fred, though. Fred is the kind of person that you need on your media team because you got to always be prepared for the for the shit that just ain't planned. That's how it's supposed to be. Like what They're if real. I what if I couldn't stand Ashley and Fred called and said something about Ashley? Now my job is to to not be like, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying?
<laughs> not a well. Not a well. No, you, you have to media training, which is something you're going to learn since you have a label. Media training, artist development, all of those things. Are you prepared to be the boss? Most definitely. I've already been doing that. You got artists on your label? I do. You do? Who are some of your artists on your label? I have one artist. Well, it's my brother, really. So it's really like the a co people, You didn't even have to tell the people that. Oh, I mean, I'm real. Uh, seen OG, you know. He been doing his thing also, you know. Once again, we just quiet, silent, and moving. Um, I also like have some more young cats coming out real soon. I got my little dog, Fire Andretti, who you just seen on the video, Mo, Mo, Mo. Hey! Yeah, you he, gonna get that reaction here, Tyson. Hey, he's a true rock star, man. So make sure that he you go follow listen. him right now at Fi Andretti. He came on the track ready. I mean, in the button. Oh, yeah. What? He stay ready. I mean, a true artist, not a rapper, but a true artist. And I can appreciate that because he a lot of people are making music that, like, my kids make fun of me all the time because I listen to old music in the car. <laughs> want to say it's old music but i listen to that's how i get my vibe on yeah i i listen to things that i grew up on when i was a teenager things that made me happy they still make me happy now you know and i'm not gonna lie i don't understand the shit that is being played on the radio. i don't so i it's mean hard you to don't to or it. you don't like both like both <laughs> like it's just like what the hell like for and we got to get ready to go. But, like Lotto. Lotto made a post the other day talking about basically people hating on her. So, some people on the, the comments, they was like, girl, who? And don't nobody care about you. Ain't nobody hating on you. And then somebody else said she just mad because her song, Big Energy, didn't do numbers the first couple of days. Well, the thing is, the name of the song is Big Dick Energy, right? She sampled Mariah Carey's Sweet Fantasy. Mariah Carey wasn't talking about what Lotto's talking about. Every song that I have heard from Lotto, she's talking about her lady parts and how good her lady parts are and how it's just the, it's the same song, it's the same lyrics over a different beat. It's the image. And it's just like, bruh, we get it. We get, we get it. You say your shit is the shit. It's good, good. It's good, good. You got a big ass. You got big breasts. You got Pow. fat thighs. Pow. You got we we get it. Like, Pow. How many times we gotta hear about it though? Pow pow. Shut the hell up. How many, <laughs> how many times do and it's like it's not just her. It's all female. Most female rappers that are coming out right now, they're rapping about the same exact thing. They're saying the same exact thing. They're saying the same exact words in every single song, and it's like. How? How? That's how? what they signed to. You gotta get that. Trust me, they just don't want to make songs like that all the time. But guess what? They're going to take that money and do what they got to do. But the crazy thing is, I can't even see. Yes, I can. I was going to say, I couldn't see her having that song and then taking it. Because, you know, they have to play it for the people before they release it. So I can't see. Because is it a white dude sitting behind the desk listening to all this? My. You know what I'm saying? Like that's who passes out the approval. But you know the crazy thing is, if that same white man listening to her give her the approval to release this, he gonna throw his 16 year old daughter Becky CD. He gonna throw that CD out. Becky ain't gonna be allowed to listen to that shit. No, not at all. That's and crazy. she better not because her college funds are gonna get taken. I'm trying to tell Fast. you, Becky ain't gonna be able to do that. No, Becky, Becky. ain't gonna be in there. You got the real big dick. Energy. Oh, now Becky's gonna do what she wanna do though. But <laughs> she is gonna win. Becky's gonna, ain't gonna do what she wanna do it. at all times. <laughs> well white black situations are way different. Slim, I can definitely appreciate you guys putting out music, bringing Always. back music. Appreciate y'all, man. Real music. All Keep up. finding those real artists. Keep doing what you do. You know, you always can come on my show as I elevate. I don't care. You can always right show here. love. I'm gonna always show up. Thank I'm you. I'm going to always show up. She done Tell always everybody support. where they can find you, they, your music, all that good stuff. Y'all can find me everywhere at Slim Cut 
Lay Boy. That's Slim C U T T L A Y B O I on Instagram. Slim C U T T two one o seven zero. That is JoJo. I don't know why you zoom the camera out on my beautiful face when I be trying to tell the people my OnlyFans page. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Why you do that when my, my curls be popping to the side? I be ready for my close-up, and then here come JoJo taking Zen, zooming me damn out. Hi, guys. You guys know who it is. It's Mo Clark. You can follow me on IG at Miss Mo Clark. You can follow me at The Post Up. I don't know JoJo Instagram, but you can follow him, too. He that guy. And since it's almost Christmas time, do make sure you give Jack an early Christmas present and follow Global Vision Status Network. And we will see you next Thursday. We out. Leave it posted. Gotta keep it posted. Gotta. Yeah. Gotta keep it posted. We got Mocha. Posted with the poster. We need to know you're ready, yo. Topic. Post it up like a palm tree in the tropic. Rosie on the beat, make you wanna come and see. Uh, Mo to the C, radio to TV. You know she putting in work like she clocked in. Celebrity guest, never guess who gon' drop in. Television's best, like a S on the chest. Who's next? Say less, cause you rockin' with you rockin' with the best. Yeah, Mo Clark, post it with the poster. Keep it going.